Oh my God, hi kids, it's Eureka here, your favorite messy, gassy, delusional, most likely to be in a cult, obviously shady queen, and she came here just to give you all the only makeup tutorial as one of my idols, the icon, all the way from Snatch Game of Love on All Star 6, I am divine! <laughs> So watch me go from this <laughs> to this. <laughs> so today is going to be an experience. I want to take you all into a time where you stopped caring what the f other people thought about you. Obviously, Divine is the trash queen from the 1960s and 70s, made famous by the incredible John Waters. You know her from films like Obviously Hairspray, obviously Pink Flamingos, but also Mondo Trasho, Female Trouble, I Ate the Makeup. Um, there's so many amazing films. She's actually the person who inspired Ursula. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but she also inspired the makeup and the character of Ursula. So I'm so sorry, you guys, but today you're going to be my poor, unfortunate soul. I'm gonna start by taking my glasses off and showing you all how I look underneath all of this which is basically a naked mole wrap. This is gonna be so much fun, I'm so excited. So now I like to use a little primer fish. My is all a mess. I brought the duct tape, can you imagine? So I like to use a good primer. I'm not gonna tell you this brand, but any self-respecting makeup artist already knows the brand of this primer. You bougie ass bitch. And everyone knows Divine from the iconic movie Pink Flamingos more than anything uh, because she eats dog in the movie. I don't know if you all know that, but she does. Today, we're not gonna really be eating poop or anything that looks like poop, so please do not be afraid. There's so much black and crazy makeup that's gonna go into this. So we're not gonna do our foundation first, we're gonna save it for last so we can clean up all that messy So basically, we're gonna start with the eyes. And you know what they say, the eyes are the nipples of the face. And listen, if Divine's eyes were nipples, they'd be those big, huge, like being clamped on by those weird sex toy type nipples. Probably like little like hot dog wieners hanging off the end, pointing at the floor. That's the kind of nipples we're gonna make today. <laughs> I'm gonna start with some dip brow because I wanna get into these eyebrows first. Now Divine Mama, she wore brows. Divine actually originally was Glenn Milstead. She was just a boy that grew up in Baltimore, Maryland that really wanted to be a movie star. At one point was in a play growing up and talked to his mom and was like, mom, I wanna be an actor when I grow up. And she said, you can be anything you wanna be. And lo and behold, she became one of the most famous and legendary drag queens ever, really. But mama didn't like Divine. I'm sure you can see why. So we're gonna start with eyebrows. Make sure they go up, up, high, high. Now with Divine's brows, they go up and they come straight back down. Ooh, yes, okay, see? Glenn Milstead was someone who wanted to shock and awe the audiences, obviously introduced by John Waters, and it was all about taking things that the world was afraid to talk about and blasting them on a screen and making pure fun of them. And if that's not drag, honey, I don't know what is. So now we're gonna take our clown white. So whatever your clown white is, it can be a TV paint stick, it can be a jar of clown white, whatever, but we're gonna take a brush and we're just gonna get some of that white on that brush, girl. This is how we etch a sketchy our eyebrows out. Now I'm the type of person that I like to walk around barefoot because I'm garbage, y'all. And I also like to use my fingertips to smudge, blend, and smear. If you wanna use like a makeup applicator, whatever, be boring, be square. We're here to be outrageous and very queer. Now at this point, what I like to do is I like to come back in that dip brow and I just touch up little areas before I powder. See, I actually really love this eyebrow and this one's a little thick to me. So what you do with the white is you can kind of take some of it away. So now I'm gonna take my powder puff and some powder. This is just like a neutral set powder and I'll go over it after I powder it with whatever white I wanna use and whatever color I want the eyebrows to be. So as you can tell, I just powdered this down. Uh, basically what I do is I take a big old fluffy brush <laughs> and just kind of dust it off. I like to keep it simple, honey. Take it back to the stage makeups, y'all. And I'm gonna powder it in the white eyeshadow. Why it gotta be white eyeshadow? I guess because it is. 
Ooh, them eyebrows are getting brighter and brighter, darling. I like to blow everything. Now, next I'm gonna pull up some blue. The iconic look from Pink Flamingos was blue eyeshadow, silver glitter, lots of black, red lips, a little bit of cheek, a red dress, big piss yellow hair, and of course, the famous scene where Divine kills Connie Marble. Smile pretty for the picture, Connie. <laughs> She's already coming out, I'm telling you. The more I get in Divine, the more Divine I become. So you all are also watching this character overcome my personality. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna be a trash monster, Divine. We're doing the blue eyeshadow now. Y'all get where we're at? I like to call this Denial River. Because <laughs> I'm in denial that I'm good at this. <laughs> now when I'm doing colors, I like to take another color of that color, a little lighter, to help blend that color into the white. I'm not really sure if Divine's makeup was necessarily as blended as I'm about to be, but I'm just the type of queen where, bitch, if it's not blended, Send her back! So as you all can tell, this is helping create a transition of the darker blue into a lighter blue into the white. And I love coming back in with some white and just making sure it's really, really bright under that arch. And blow, <laughs> and blow. Can this be in a drinking game? Every time I say and blow, y'all take a shot. Now I like to do the little circle blend. It's where you lightly blend. You apply very minimal pressure and it just helps like blend that up. Now I'm also like a finger blender. I told you I love using my fingers as tools. For some reason, I just feel like my finger just smooths it out better than a brush. Call me crazy bitch, but that blend, ooh! Oh my God, I get so excited. It's like a beautiful sky at noon. You know what I mean? Like it's so pretty, so. Pretty. Okay. I love Divine so much because one, ever since I started doing drag, I didn't really feel like as a person before I started doing drag that I fit in anywhere. Being a bigger person, being large, I was always too much, too loud, too this, too that. And when I started doing drag, I started getting these comments like, oh my God, you look so much like Divine. Oh my God, you sound so much like Divine. Oh my God, your makeup is so dramatic like Divine. And so I had to start researching this character. And then when I did, I found actually an entertainer that I really related with. It was all about like the celebration of oneself, the extreme, the exaggeration of femininity, the exaggeration of drag. Like it wasn't about necessarily just being beautiful. It was almost like mocking beauty. There was such high glam, but also trash all the same. I don't know about you all, but ever since I was a kid, I have literally felt like I was born a trash can. You know, I've never felt like I fit in anywhere. I never fit in the chair. I never fit on the roller coaster. I never fit in at the sex parties. Nothing in this store is gonna fit me, mom. But I fit in drag. And I feel like that's where someone like Divine fit in too. It's just the crazy elements of creativity and art, making fun of what we hate so much about ourselves. And it's those anxious parts of us the fear that makes us crazy, that makes us loud, that makes us dangerous, that makes us violent, that makes us disgusting. Like celebrate it in a way, or at least come to terms with it, y'all. I mean, if you could, maybe we'd have less serial killers or more serial killers. <laughs> so the next phase is gonna be the black in the makeup. Now, what I also like to do to help from Fallout is I like to do duct tape lines Bitch, I love duct tape, okay? It helps you tuck your wiener. It helps you get the perfect lines for your makeup. It fixes everything in the house. You know, like they used to say back in East Tennessee, if you can't duck it, f it. <laughs> so stupid. I might be a monster. <laughs> I hope I am. <laughs> so I like to do this for my lines. I mean, for normal sized people, you can probably use scotch tape. <laughs> But when you're a big, when you're a big beluga whale bitch like me, I decide to go ahead and just go hard, bitch. Get that duct tape out. Oh, now isn't this a sight? I also like to lick my brushes because I'm a disgusting hag. Uh. <laughs> oh, you ready? So now you can start creating that line without having to worry about the mess. 
Isn't that f genius, y'all? Get your black eyeshadow. So now with Divine's, hers kind of ended very sharp. So I just kind of do it into it very sharp. Now watch this. Perfect. So now this is the thing. Divine's eye was kind of open with glitter, but she had very thick black here. I like to do the glitter first because I think that it helps me like etch out the line. Obviously we have our snatches. We're getting the shape. You can kind of see Divine coming to life already, right? <laughs> She's coming to life, darling. Divine was definitely outrageous. Like even with her crowds, she was the type of person she would just come out John would introduce her to the crowd after a showing of Pink Flamingos, and she would come out and heckle the crowd, and she would pull a fish from between her legs and throw it in the audience, and the audience would jump higher and get louder and scream even more for the obscenity that was Divine. So in the original, Divine had like silver glitter. Now I've got this holographic silver glitter that I'm gonna use, and I'm also gonna teach you all a little secret that I use. I don't recommend this for everyone. So bitch, if it hurts you, you on your own. I like to take my hairspray. Again, this is how I do it. It's an old drag queen secret. You don't need to do it. If you wanna do it, just make sure that you don't get any hairspray or anything in your eye. Be very conscientious, be very careful. And I usually take like the lid to something or something that I can wash out later with hot water. And I spray some of that hairspray down into the lid. And then it's like I have a little puddle of hairspray, see? Now I also have a brush that I use solely for glitter and I like to brush it out in a towel. And then I have my loose glitter on hand as well. So I dip that brush in the hairspray and then I dip that brush in the glitter and then I'm able to draw on where I want the glitter to be. And this allows me to kind of control where the glitter goes. Isn't that wild? and just brush it on very easily. Again, don't get it too close to your eye line because you need to be careful with your eyes. As you can tell, there's plenty of space between my lash line and that. And you don't wanna do way too much hairspray because you definitely don't want that hairspray running down in your eye, et cetera. If you have a little blower, you can do it, but I just like blowing myself. I mean, I got these big old lips. I might as well use them. <laughs> when I go under my eye, I dab it and I tilt my head back a little bit so the fumes of the hairspray do not go into my eye. <laughs> I repeat, so the fumes, I mean, if you just wanna stick that in your eye, do it, but it's not gonna be my fault. And then I kind of just let it dry. I keep that eye closed. You don't want them fumes in your eye, girl. You can also cup your hand and blow into your hand and it causes the air to travel up. Now we've got the glitter. We're gonna come back in for the black of the eye. And basically, Divine's eye shape came in snatched here and snatched here. So we're just gonna go in and we're gonna fill that in. You can get creative and you can cut lines with your tape if you really want this bottom line to be like perfect, which I wanna try today. So we're gonna kind of guinea pig this together because I saw someone do this and I was very intrigued. Take a piece of that tape and I just like to cut like a little curve. It's so weird because it's just like, you take the edge of the tape where it's here and you like snatch it so that when you set it down, well actually be for this off. So when you set it down, it lines up with that snatch. You see what I'm saying? Because we want this line perfect today. So then you can hold this I mean, girl, you could probably cut this out of cardboard or anything, but I just like using duct tape because it's fun. And then I come in and I start creating this line here and then I peel it off and look how perfect. I am dead, bitch. Y'all see what I'm talking about? So now I come in with like a thinner black brush just to like darken it in in certain places. You want to get your brush wet. I like to lick my brush because I'm disgusting and I put my own saliva all over my face. But you can have like a little cup of water and then you dry it off on your towel. I'm not that girl. I ain't never been that girl. I never wanted to be that girl. I'm not gonna be that girl today. 
And you just go in and you darken that. Now here is where I bring the glitter back. I really just wanted to tighten that line up. Now the top black, I have a cream foundation I like to use and I'll dip that more narrow black brush in. Ooh, snatchy doodle bitch. So now as we have this black, we're gonna go in and we're gonna pat it in with some black powder. This helps set the grease. I'm very much like messy, clean up, messy, clean up, messy, clean up. That's really how I do my makeup. So the girls weren't wrong when they voted me messiest. And I think I'm the most beautiful, so I must be the most delusional. <laughs> and if you stand behind me on a sunny day, definitely the most shady. Oh, and I eat poorly, so clearly the gassiest. Now in Divine's makeup, she didn't really bring the black into this, but we're doing kind of like a drag elevated version from the movie. Obviously it's already, I mean, it's about as big as hers, but it's definitely a little more blended, a little more structured. So I'm gonna bring the black kind of across to blend it and make it a little bit more like if Divine lived in today's day and age with the knowledge that we know of makeup now is kind of my goal here. And you know, the thing is, is the eyes are the longest part. Once you get the eyes done, which the rest of the face is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna dip another brush that's kind of a flatter brush, but it's also a blender just in black to kind of blend some of the black over. And I'm gonna lightly go along this line here, right into this line here to bring that black over across the top of this glitter. This is gonna help add shape and dimension to that eye. You see how that's more like today's eye shape? Ooh, bitch is painted. Now I'm gonna come back in with that blue and just blend that black out a little. And I'm gonna come in with a smaller brush. Now I don't wanna do too much blending in the black snatch because that's kind of the iconic thing of Divine's makeup is that pullback, that snatch of the makeup. But do you see how much, how less hard this is versus this? And then I come back to the brows. I usually do this like formation and then I come in later after the eye's done and I do whatever color the eyebrow's gonna be so that during like the process of all this, I don't mess my eyebrows up. Oh, oh, bitch, the more I put on, the more I become divine. It makes me think of this monologue from Divine where she like comes in and all the girls are there and she's about to go out on a date. Evening, girls. I'm going out for dinner. He's going to take me to a drive in movie on Long Island where they're playing Walk on the Wild Side. And when the big love scene comes on, we're going to start to pet and his hot, sweaty hand's gonna run up my leg, and my skin's gonna start crawling, and the inside of my treasure chest will start burning, and it only gets dirtier from there. Connie Marble, you have been convicted of assholism. The proper punishment will now take place. Smile pretty for the picture, Connie. I don't think she really ever played like a drag queen. It was always like real women, but what was so outrageous is she played real women looking the way she looked. That is what the fun was of the character. Glenn was never really meant to be a drag queen. He was always just trying to be an actor and he was simply divine. We're ready to move on. Bitch, I can't believe these eyes though, Miss Thing. Ooh, simply divine, bitch. I'm not gonna do like a lot of contouring, like cream contouring for this divine look. I don't think they were really into the cream contouring then. I think it was very base foundation. She didn't have like a lot of contouring stuff on. So I'm just gonna kind of go with like a base foundation and then we'll come in with just some powder contours. I have a foundation brush that I like to smear everything around with. Now I'm gonna take my little uh, spongy sponge. Now I have two, I have like one like this, and then I have one with this like little flat moment. I use them all the time, I use them for everything. I barely wash them, I'm disgusting. Now I use the flat one for under the eye, and it just helps you smooth out that foundation. <laughs> How about a nice lobotomy to help you relax? 
<laughs> Ooh, she's coming out. I don't know what my obsession with villains always was. You know, really the truth is, is I don't think there are any real villains or everyone's a villain. I think villains are just misunderstood or more damaged, hurt people. Then after I'm like wiping my neck down, then I come in and blend it with this little moment. Just to make sure it's smooth. And it's like you're mowing the lawn. I don't know if y'all ever had to push mow, but I did. So mowing the lawn, it's like you just go in a line and then you come back in the next line. <laughs> With Divine 2, I'm gonna wanna set my hair back a little further. So as you can tell, obviously I did this. I'm gonna come in with a couple bobby pins and just make sure this hair is slicked back because I'm actually gonna come in and foundation this a little bit because I wanna set that wig back as far as I can. Obviously powder is the next step. So I go back to my translucent powder that I started with over that white in the eyebrow and I just get this foundation set. So I come back to my handy dandy simple palette and I do a brush with some white eyeshadow. It really helps highlight and brighten that under eye a little bit. We're gonna come in with a little nose contour, just a brown. You're gonna blend that into the eye makeup here. This is a nice fan brush. And I use several colors of brown. Then I come up with that white. So now that we have our eyes basically done, our powder's on, we're gonna do a little bit of contour and do the lips, and then we're gonna get all dressed up in this divine gig here. Now contour. I like to use a couple different browns just because I'm that girl. And her contour was pretty simple. So I'm gonna come in with some brown here. And she had some color in her cheeks. She was more of like a red pink. We're gonna go with red. And don't be afraid to bring that pink over into the ball of your cheeks. We're gonna come back in with like a blending brown, just to kind of blend over it. It helps kind of bring all those colors together. And then we're gonna come back in with our white for the under here and just kind of pat it in. And this is gonna help brighten up under that eye but also blend that pink out a little. Do you see that? And then lightly blend with that contour brush again, just so it's not too white faded. Now we're gonna come in with our lip liner. Divine had small lips. I have very big lips, but they would always overdraw her lips a little bit. And she had kind of like a pointed corner in the upper lip. So I, being that I have like large lips, kind of have to draw that accent. It's almost like a little mustache. And then you just connect it straight down into your lip. Now I wanna do a red and shed like a very highlighted lip. Now to do the accent highlight on the lip, you come with like a white. And then you get that like highlighted lip, baby. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. So we're gonna come back in with our glitter and just kind of lightly bring these together. And I don't get real crazy with it so that I don't end up hurting myself. But do you see how that just kind of like the difference there? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a lash on. I like to go dramatic with lashes. I think she wore probably like a 301 lash or something like that. You can go whatever size you want. I have these incredible little custom lashes that I'm gonna wear today. The lash is so important because it's such dramatic makeup. It really helps bring it all together. Now I'm just gonna place the lash as close as I can to my actual lashes. This is where I come in and I put a little mascara on. Yes, bitch! Eee! Now I'm gonna get the hair on, I'm gonna get some titties on, I'm gonna get my dress on, but you cannot be divine without one little tick. Do you know what it is? 
I feel like Dora the Explorer. Do you know what it is, kids? Yes, a beauty mark, bitch. The thing is, is like Divine was all about making fun of beauty. So of course you would have a beauty mark. <laughs> Ooh, it's like the beauty mark comes on and she comes out. All right, kids, I want you to stay here, stay tight while I get some titties on so I can get looking right, okay? And this is it. I am divine. <laughs> Condone cannibalism. Kill everyone. Kill, kill, kill. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm so beautiful, I can't stand it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching me become divine. Follow me at Eureka O'Hara on all social media platforms and make sure you all tune in to RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars season six. I know where you live. I know your address and I might just be in the mood for a barbecue. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.